Welcome back, everybody, to Pokemon Violet. I'm Phoenix King Saka, and I'm here in Zapapico. I think that's how it's pronounced. And in the previous episode, I uh, got my third gym badge. And now I am on my way to take on uh, another Team Star. So let's uh, go over. Here's my Pokemon. Danny evolved. I believe it's this way. Oh, hey. Birds. Who are you? Corvisquire. Air Slash. Go, Pokeball! Gotcha! Oh, uh, I, I've also been doing a bit of grinding off screen. This intelligent. Pokemon will quickly learn how to use any tool it can hold in its beak or its talons. Voltorbs and Tumbleweed Pokemon. Hey, Ghastly. I'm curious, what's down in this hole? Yeah, there's a cave here. Sassy Mint. Hey, a Torkoal! That wasn't what I was going for. I pushed the wrong button and ended up killing it. Take down. Okay, there we go. Yeah, let me just get a little restocked here at the Pokemon Center. And yeah, let's head into Team Star's base. Hey, it's you again. Oh, it's you, Sokka. Hi, Director Clavel. Like I said before, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Anyway, Sokka, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Why did you join? I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve the situation with Team Star and what's causing its members' odd behavior? What? Uh... What situation? Tim Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Oh my. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. The matter I am directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent... Troncy? They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. What do you mean? That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that should they refuse, I would have no choice but ex to expel all students affiliated with their team. Would they care? But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between disillusion or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you taking on the phone Talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. Oh, phone call. It's Cassiopeia, of course. Ugh. Whisper, whisper. Another time, then. Whisper, whisper. Be careful. He's just saying whisper, whisper. <laughs> anyway, Cassiopeia, baby, what's going on? I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Uh, was there someone with you just now? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, apparently I can't tell her that. It's just me. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up for after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easy as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Who are you? Oh, you're a weird looking one. 
I think I'll run. Nah, I'm just kidding. Air Slash! Interesting. You look more like a... a fly to me, but without wings. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of Navy Squad. Take me to Don Articus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving till you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. The people over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? Say hello, get a little closer. I'll say hello. Hello! Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy might be Sokka. The Sokka? That kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Yep, that's me. I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the vase is still asleep since we were up all last night playing video games. <laughs> Leave him to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Okay, kid, who are you? Yeah? And what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. Are you like... Don Atticus' little brother or something? That's my guess. I know that man my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis calls, no one... No, one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him. No matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid. But thanks for the big assist. Alright, you villain. You're after Don Atticus. Be prepared to face my wrath. Um, sure, bring it on. Yeah! Yeah, you're definitely related to him somehow. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer, Yosef. Gulpin! Go, Shade! Use... Super Fang! Stockpile? Yeah. Better kill you before you get to use it. Air Slash. Good job, Shade. Waddle's leveled up. That thing is ugly. Kill it. Sh kill it, Shade. Air Slash. Finish it off with a wing attack. Good job. I talk big, but I am no warrior. Yeah, you're just a little baby. I sound like uh, Lieutenant Surge. <laughs> Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Sorry, are you all right? I was just standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Oh, no fair. Oh. I... Who's talking? Oh, no fair you had backup this whole time. Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Sokka, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat? My, uh, a man? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't bite. Uh, okay, good. Phone call. Nice work dealing with the guard. Wasn't hard. Within the base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navy Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. And he knows how to use those hands. 
Um, uh, the guy's also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. So just like before. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off his phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navy squad off the map. So I'm guessing uh, Cassiopeia, she originally started Team Star and then eventually she regretted starting it. And now she wants to uh, like f clean up her mess. Yes, I'm ready. Well, actually, oh, should I? Yeah, Shade needs some healing. Let's see. Shade, Danny, Blitz. Uh, I think I'll do it before. I'll put Roxanne up. Change position. Roxanne, Danny, Blitz. Just like before. Charge to sorry. Yes. Beep, beep, Kurt. Some kid lucked out beating one of our sister squads. Now he thinks he can take us on. Time to give him the boot, gang. Let's show this gang crasher what Team Star can do. If you're listening, Gate Crasher, know this. It's raining now. Unless you beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. Bring it on! Defeat 30 of Team Star's Pokemon. Right, Roxanne, Danny, Blitz, let's do this. Go! That's three. Get him! Get him! Tear him apart, Blitz! Danny, Roxanne. That's six. Get him! Get him, guys! Get him! Oh. Go for the jugular! Uh, we got some over here. Venona and Venomoth! Go get them! Rip off their wings! Scratch their eyes out! I'm becoming kind of a monster, aren't I? Go get it, whatever that uh, thing is. Yeah, we got some. Oh. Rip out their throats. Crush them. Go, Roxanne. Crush them. Danny, scratch their eyes out. Blitz, burn them to ashes. Oh, we got Grimer and uh, a Seviper. Let's go, guys. Squash them. All right, we got 30. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. That's right. Go cry to your boss. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> what is with this? So you're Atticus. Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're the scoundrel Saka, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. I plunge into grim poison... W wait. A plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. And guard! Talks like puss in boots. Okay, here we go. I like his design. His outfit. Okay, Roxanne. Not but punishment awaits thee, wretch. A plague on your house. Use crunch. Certain moves can poison with a mere gay graze. Tremble, scoundrel. Okay. Rock tomb. Now we're talking. You trying to poison Roxanne? Crunch! Kill that skunk!
Good job. Okay, time to get Roxanne out of there. Let's go Blitz. Okay. I feel like they've just given up with their Pokemon designing. Now they're just... Eh, let's take a motor and... Uh, there, it's a Pokemon. Incinerate. Good job, Blitz. Yeah, send out Muck. This is your Pokemon. Yes. Go Waddles. Remember Ash's Muck. You should have used it more often. Use Dig, Waddles. All right, almost got it. Use headbutt. Good job. You think to give a taste of my own poison? Oh boy. Come on waddles. Yes. Strike from below. Oh. Dig from below. You've got this, Waddles. Strike from below, Waddles. All right, we've almost got it. Now finish it off with a headbutt. Good job. Looks like you're out of commission, Atticus. Forgive me, my friends. I don't know why we just panned away. About a year and a half ago. Oh, so that's what you look like under that hood. Forgive me. It took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Whoa, sick. These boots are insane. Ah, yes. The move flame charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great Infernal Eyrie. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you cause you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Oh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out. Words our Atticus might f has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs to these... It, it's time to put our backs into our battle training so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself, heart and soul, to honoring my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Yes, I'm one step closer to completely running all of Team Star. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that a... I was one to cover their foes in ya yeah, gunk. Gunk shot! Thank you. I don't know if I have a Pokemon that can use it though. Saka is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Da on Atticus. My compadre! It seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face! Donakis, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all this way here? I came to help you. 
If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad... No, that's him. When the, I don't know who's talking. When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Oh, he's talking. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Ah, oh, the sun's coming out. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. How do you know they exist? By their own word, they are a recluse, as with the rest of us. Twould seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face are unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day of their return. So, so that's why you don't go to school? But, but still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's Chauncey and the bullying at the Academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. Yes, yeah, kind of like your uh, shitty headmaster. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Ha, huh, I believe Team Star is the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. Ah, so Team Star was created to as a preventative me measure against bullies at the school. Well, my work here is done. Saka, it's me. I take it that Atticus Star Badge is now on your possession. Uh-huh. I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navy Squad's days are numbered. Atticus. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there. I was just remembering some really good times I had with him. Now about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Earned 6,000 LP. You now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Yeah, the TM machine kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials, too. Oh, hi, Penny. Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. Hey, why'd you come out? What the heck? Oh, he must. you must have a sandwich for him. Hey, stop that. Somebody help! Just give him your sandwich. Ugh, it drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? It's really awesome. It's Maradon. I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Uh, before I forget, here's your reward. See, lots of Pokemon materials. Um, your name's Sokka, right? Since you're part of our Operation Starfall it's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're, they're pretty, they're pretty strong. Not really. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. 
all they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. What? <laughs> I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them, the team in the first place. Yeah, I know this already. Can we get back to you hacking people's stuff? That's, uh, th that's not cool. No, I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. So, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. Okay. Where are you? What the heck? You're like some sort of fly monkey. Uh oh, Roxanne's injured. Go Shade! Bite! Poison Fang. Oh no, now Shade's poisoned! Air Slash! Go Pokeball! Gotcha! Okay, what are you? Toxic monkey Pokemon. Each gray five eye paints its own individual pattern. And it will paint the same pattern over and over again throughout its life. Restore heal my Pokemon, please. Okay, where do I go now? Yeah, there's another Titan Pokemon I could deal with. Let's go do that. Set as destination. Okay, I guess I gotta go this way. Oh, phone call. Oh, it's Arvin. Go Sokka. So somewhere in one of the mines that are around here, we should find the lurking Steel Titan. Rumor has it the thing's staggeringly huge and real long. You'd think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot. I wonder how it's staying hidden. Maybe it's super fast. If that's the case, riding that Pokemon of yours might help you catch up. Huh. Is it a Steelix? Is it a giant Steelix? Yeah. There's a cave over here. Let's go investigate. Oh. Didn't see you there. Sorry. Harkel. Super Fang. Bite. Shade's too powerful for you now. I've trained Shade well. Bite. Ow. Go Pokeball. Gotcha. Carbos. Okay. Nothing very much in there. What is that? Oh, looks like I'm, uh, I'm here. Um. What exactly am I supposed to do? This is the Titan Pokemon, obviously, but, uh,. Okay. It's not a Steelix. I don't know what it is. What? You Super Fang. Good job. You Super Fang again. Shade, I believe in you. Super Fang again. Super Fang. Aha, it's retreating. Good job, Shade. It went in here. Oh boy. 
Where's, where's this lead? There it is. Maybe I should, uh, put a different Pokemon up front. Or, man, how many rounds do I have to fight this thing? Is this it? Ah, uh, this must be where it's keeping the, the plant. The moss that it likes to eat. Hey, we can eating. Hey, Arvin. Yep, found the Titan for you. That's the lurking steel Titan. It's, well, sure is long. Remind you of something? I think your little friend might be even feistier now after eating those harbs. We're gonna need to do this together, Sokka. Whoa! Okay, did it just get bigger? Or is it just my imagination? Super Fang! Doesn't matter how big an opponent is, victory is gonna taste so good seasoned by something. Ow! Okay, Super Fang! Hey, it's supposed to do half damage. Super Fang again. Super Fang again. Darn it. You're okay, Shade. You're gonna be okay. Just hang in there. Use Bite. Uh-oh. That's a weird looking Pokemon. It looked like a, a tentacle, but walking. Bite it one more time, Shade. Good job. That a boy, Shade. Okay, let's go get that moss so you can make your Pokemon better. Stop calling me little buddy. Did you get a good look at his face though? I didn't expect the Titan to be such a little cutie. You and I have two different definitions of cute. I bet if we go in here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica it ate before. Let's go find it before that thing can regroup. Aha! Yep, there it is. I knew it. I spy Herba Mystica. You and Arvin found the salty Herba Mystica. Okay, let's make a sandwich and you give your sandwich to your Pokemon and I'll give my sandwich to my motorcycle. Let's see, really. Salty Herba Mystica helps with aching hands and feet. Good for neuropathy and numbness. When you've got muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. This will definitely help my boss Steph feel better. Come on, Sokka, let's get some food going. Alrighty then. Cooking noises. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another of your favorite old Arvin sandwiches. And it comes with special Titan badge. The Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. Well, thank you. Well, oh, uh, come on out. Uh, you. Here's the sandwich. And you're, you're gonna be grumpy again. Figure this might happen. Don't worry, I made extra this time for that brood of yours. Yeah, here you go. Can you give your sandwich to Miradon? Sure. Come on out, my boss diff. I got some for you too, bud. Aw. Come on, eat up. Eat up so you can get better. That's it, small bites, small bites. Here, just down the whole thing. 
Uh, okay, what new power you got this time? We'll be able to jump higher now. Awesome. Uh, at least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down, would you? This fruit seems to be benefiting from the herbs too, I guess, in its own sort of way. Oh yeah. Before I forget, Sokka, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the Herba Mystica when we find him, right? Like the book says, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herbs that making the Titans so big and strong. No, you think? I hadn't put two and two together. So does this mean that Titan's Lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where the Titan keeps its food? Oh, you done with your sandwich, my boss stiff? You feeling any better? Huh? You, you heard that right, Sokka. They must have just woofed, right? Yeah. Right, I'm not imagining things. Rough. See? See? I knew I wasn't just hearing things. Oh, I must have... Who's my best bud, huh? Who's the best of boys? You are! Yes, you are! It's been so long since I heard that woof. <laughs> And Vastif is definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things keep happening. But we've still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick it out until we're done. I will. I also want to see him get better. Ooh, phone call. It's uh, the professor, right? Professor Turo. Hello, Sokka. This is Turo. I detected that Maradon has regained more of its original power. While you're riding upon it, it seems it can now jump higher if you press and hold the B button. Uh-huh. Please continue to take good care of Maradon. Ooh, there's a lot of caves around here. Whoa! It jumped real high! <laughs> awesome! It's in this cave. Whoa! Kind of clipping through the wall a little. Whoa! What's that? Hey, it's a Growlithe! Bite! Super Fang! Go! Pokeball! Gotcha! What's that over there? Lavincia. There's a gym there, electric. I guess that's where I'll go next. Set as destination. The supercharged streamer. Ah, oh, I've heard of her. Okay, let's head towards this city over here. There we go. We'll fly into the city. Avincia. Can I land on top of this building? Nope. Okay, we are here. And we will take on the gym challenge in the next episode. I'm Phoenix King Sokka, and I will see you then. Take care.